What's up YouTube, Pope John here. The last video, we watched the Paleolithic era and we got through that one just fine, squeaky clean. Now we're moving on to this Meso Mesolithic era. They did an update and so it only takes one progress point. Now it did take two on the Mesolithic era. So looking at grain processing, pottery, spinning, oven, clay hut. Now we need some tasks for our settlers. Let's go ahead and start clearing out some of these spaces, right? Okay, so we've gotten our first progress point. The very first thing I think we should do is go for the clay hut. Let's go ahead and hit that. We're gonna add those on here. And we're gonna begin to build these clay huts. Now they're a little bigger, three by three. Okay, they're starting to work on the clay huts now. And as you can see, we can fit three people in the clay huts. So eventually we'll probably dispose of these. Right now we're just gonna keep them as we continue growing. Okay, so we have our next progress point. We're gonna go for the grain processing because I saw this flat bread and I know that's something that brings up their happiness. All mine are 100 out of 100 happy right now, but I'm sure that'll become a, a huge factor later. So let's, that's the hearth. And here is the grinding stone. After the grinding stone has been built, what we need is to cut the barley. Barley is how we make the flour. Now that we have some barley, we can begin to make some flour. So we have seven seeds, but there's no reason for anything else to do anything else other than make flour with the barley seeds at this point. So we have our settler here working on it, grinding those seeds into flour. I'm not sure how you make flour in the rain, but this dude just did it. He just made a pile of flour in the rain. Now, let's see if we can cook us a piece of flatbread. Okay, while they cook that flatbread, it looks like we have another progress point. So we're gonna go with the pottery on this one. That will help us gather some water, I would assume. So we've opened the pottery. Let's see what we opened up here. A kiln. Let's go ahead and put the kiln out. We're gonna put it right beside that one. We can make a ceramic pot. We have plenty of clay. Let's start with one pot. Okay, it's working. It is working. Making those pots. All right, so while they're making that, we're gonna put our water gathering place. We're gonna put it right here where this dude's standing. So when we get the pot, that's our settlers will be able to fetch us some water. All right, so we've got our clay pots now. Boom. So we're gonna go with our next progress point and hit up the spinning for some yarn. Let's see what we've got here. Drop spindle. I'll put that one right there. So to make yarn, we do need fiber. I'm gonna assume it's flax or something of the like, but usually in these survival games, that's what it is. So while they collect that flax, I am gonna go ahead and put in to make some yarn. I'm getting some additional fiber. I don't see any more flax though, so we're gonna have to find some a little later, but that did, was able to make some yarn. Fantastic. Now what we can do with that yarn, I'm not 100% certain yet. Okay, so we have our next progress point. We are gonna be looking at, let's see, the oven, the bow, or the alcoholic drink. So something they had before the last update, the sling automatically upgraded to the bow. Now they require you to have the yarn before you do that. Let's go ahead and upgrade the bow. It's not really gonna uh, make much of a difference for us as far as how we're playing this game at this point, but let's make one just to try it out. All right, so we found Duggar. Now we are gonna give him the bow. Let's see the bow, Duggar and the bow in action. All right, here he comes. Oh, he can get a lot of distance with it. Very, very awesome. So we've gotten our next progress point. Let's go, let's go with the ovens and save the alcoholic drinks for last. I know that probably disappoints you just a little. It'll be okay. Take our oven, and in the oven, all it does is it cooks faster. 
So I'm going to sit it right beside. Actually, let's move it right there. So it's in a little different spot. So I'm going to see how much faster the oven is than the hearth. So I'm going to start some fish because I have a ton. I'm going to start a fish on this one, and I'm going to quickly start a fish on this one and see which one finishes faster. How much faster. Look how much faster it's working. Wow. So we see how much faster the oven is than the hearth. So we've got that changed out. And our last progress point for the Mesolithic era, my personal favorite, the alcoholic drinks. It opened a fermenting pot. Okay. So it takes a ceramic pot. We're going to put it down here in a very communal area. All right. Now that that's built, we can do a pot of beer or a pot of wine. So we need a pot of water and barley seeds for the beer and grape and pot of water for the wine. Okay, let's do one pot of beer and one pot of wine and let's see how long that takes. Okay, so the beer takes 900 progress to work and the pot of wine takes 1200. So quicker to make a beer than it is wine. Now, how do we get them to drink it? That's the question. So we've got our beer. We're making our wine. We are now finished with the Mesolithic area. So next video, we're going to be doing the Neolithic era. And it looks like it has a ton of stuff. Can't wait. This is Pope John. I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Later.